my viewers out there, here's a clip. This is Deron and I. We got a chance to uh, meet up this weekend, and we played a game of pig. Uh, right now, I believe I'm at the letter P, and he has nothing. So pig uh, is I'm doing three points. Nothing. So he's <laughs> 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 yeah. shooting it. No, no, you got me. <laughs> uh, no excuse that little fair and square. And Troy, this, you know, to that day I was trying to go to your home territory and, and beat you. I was. <laughs> and uh, I'm relentless. So I'm going to try again. Uh, Troy, me and you, we're going to go. And I'm, and I'm, I'm playing one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah, I want to play one-on-one -on -one with sure. you. Yeah, uh, are you sure? I, I'm positive. I, 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 I play like Kobe with the broken pinky. Okay. All right? All right. So, no, I, I'm ready, but... Uh, so I want to thank you for, uh, you know, letting me get the privilege to shoot around yeah. with you. And, uh, you know, you did beat my butt, but thank you. It was a good experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, I, I got that while you're there and you're surviving and you're, you're earning this type of money for your universities that you should receive something. Well, because I know you were saying earlier that if you, you have a passion for a sport and you want to play and you want to make a career, you were saying starting young, one of your, you know, you were telling one of the things you tell people, you tell your stepson is don't make it a business. So you're saying at a D1 or at a level where you're playing at a high level, that's when you should make it a business? Well, it is a business. Okay. There's no, it's no ifs, ands, and buts about it, whether you like it or not. As soon as you leave mama's house right. and you go to camp, um, and when you arrive on campus, it's, it's a business. There's a, a, you know, you have over the opposing side saying, you, you know, the D1s and, uh, you know, the elite players, they're getting a full scholarship, they're getting everything paid for, they're getting a free education. And, you know, you always have the theories that, you know, when you're an athlete, student, if you're number one, you get certain privileges 
in the academic room, you know, mm -hmm. less homework or whatever. So for a poster side, why give them even extra money? I don't think that's true. You know, really that's true. No, I, I think that that's a myth. Okay. I think um, the fact that you do have players leave early right, is right. where that myth comes in. Right. Um, and every job you do is your constitutional right, right. to earn a living. Right. Um, I think that that's where that's coming from on that level, but I don't agree with that. Trey, what do you think? Whether you're getting all your, scholars, or, or all your college tuition paid for or not, you're still, when you go home in the summer, you're still low income. You're still broke. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, mm -hmm. the whole school year, you're broke. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if your parents aren't making a certain amount of money or if you just don't have it, what are you going to do? I mean, you get those three meals a day, but like you said, we're on the road all the time. Where's the money come from? And we're not saying a lot of money. Right. Yeah. We're saying $50, $75 a week. I, that's what I was saying. Mm -hmm. I mean, nothing crazy. Right, right, right. And, mm -hmm. and work it in because once you start getting paid, it, you kind of turn it into being professional. Yeah, yeah I was about but to say, I would yeah. say work it in as a stipend or something mm -hmm. uh, as part of the scholarship or something. Mm -hmm. I mean, because these kids, you got kids, let's, let's use the University of Michigan, for right. example, 100 and what, 20,000 seats in that stadium? Right. Mm -hmm. Go to a bowl game, you get three million dollars. So picture one hundred and twenty thousand people in the stadium, and they're let's on the low end, twenty dollars a ticket. Right, right, right. On the low end. Right, right, right. Yeah, but yeah, what about you? And and, and I say African Americans because we have sometimes this label sports is the only way we could you know succeed in life, right. and um, which. It's not true, obviously, and it goes for, you know, the same as suburban or any kind of ethnic group when you play sports, you know, sometimes it can perform, perform you better, but I just make, I'm making an emphasis for African Americans because, you know, that's really controversial. Only black kids can go far if they mm -hmm. play sports, so mm -hmm. do you think they perform better when they go to school um, and play sports? <laughs> Yeah, but I think any kid, right. not just African Americans, I mm -hmm. think it's a it's a self esteem, it's a confidence issue. Right. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, sports breeds self esteem. Mm -hmm. You know, your your self esteem's higher. You're playing sports. You're involved. You 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 you're um in, you're mingling with other kids. Um, I think all of that goes into the, you know goes in the same package. Right. So I mean, I don't. I think any kid that's not involved in some type of pro social activity. Right is going to, you know, take that left turn instead of taking that right turn right. and get involved in some things that, you know, aren't, aren't positive. Now, Mr. Troy, you played overseas, too. Talk to my viewers and I. I, I had probably a, a three cups of coffee overseas. He was over there long, a long time. Right, right, right. Um, but talk to about your experience, though. My experience was the gyms were cold. <laughs> Didn't have a trainer, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> no trainer. Right. Yep. I had to tape my own ankles. Exactly. Um, I mean, but I mean, for the most part, I think overseas back then, when, when in the early '90s when we were playing over there. Um, well, what what you just what you just stated is, I guess, it's a typical American ego, right? mm -hmm. taping our own ego. Right. Mm -hmm. Why do should we tape our own ego? Mm -hmm. And if you go overseas, I guess their rituals and some of their uh, they, traditions they were behind are different. Back when oh, we they were, were playing. Behind. Okay. They mm -hmm. were behind. Like, mm -hmm. They didn't have trainers. Gyms were cold. I mean, when I played in um, <laughs> when I played in Spain, we played on a concrete, but it had a, a roof. Right. It was like a stadium, but it was concrete. Right. So, I mean, you know, they practice. You practice on Monday. You, you ran. Um, you did conditioning. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, you're practicing. I'm like, so are we still in college? Right, right. Like, what's all this practicing? Right, right. You know, you, you live for the games because you only play games on Saturday and Sunday. So what, what was your kids perform better with their academics when they play sports? If so, why? Um, I think it keeps them busy. Um, I definitely think that it always gives you something to, a goal to reach. Um, it's always something that you can hold over them also, right. that if they're not getting books, that they can't play. Right. So I think that that factors in to, to helping these young fellas become better ball players and better students. Now, what about you? And, and, and I say 